It's on a Wednesday, September 22nd, about 12.40 in the morning. We got the uh, Motorola Droid X here, and uh, we just happened to check to see if the uh, Android 2.2 Froyo update was available. Uh, as you can see here, we're uh, currently running uh, version uh, 2.1, but if we go up here to uh, System Updates, you see that the new version is available. Um, it's showing a version 2.3.15 with uh, 67 point six megabytes. So we're going to go on and uh, tell it to download. As we're uh, connected to Wi-Fi, hopefully it won't take uh, too terribly long. Okay, well it took right around um, about 17 minutes, 20 minutes or so to uh, download. So it appears there's uh, probably a lot of other people downloading it right now so uh, we're going to uh, begin the uh, installation process here at uh, right around uh, 1 a.m. and we'll uh, see about how long this takes Okay, so it took almost 10 minutes, and it's saying that the update is now successful. One thing that we noticed is that the uh, lock screen is uh, different now. It has different uh, icons there, and the uh, date and time layout is also uh, a little bit different. still have the uh, same layout though for the uh, seven home screens start menu also pretty much the uh, same layout So going into the uh, settings here, as you can see, it is now updated to Android 2.2 with a uh, build version of 2.3.15 and the updated uh, baseband version. We've got the uh, Quadrant benchmark program loaded up here. Uh, when we had Android 2.1 installed on the device, uh, we've ran it a several times over the past uh, few weeks and would average anywhere between uh, uh, 1,200 and 1,250 for the uh, results. So let's see if the 2.2 uh, update does any better here. Okay, so let's see here. Our score is now 1440. Let's see if we can, yeah, there we go. 1440 um, up from about a 1250, uh, 1260. So that's almost about a, a 200 point increase on the uh, quadrant benchmarking score. This is the uh, camera program. Uh, seems a little bit of a different layout. There's now a actual uh, shutter button here up on the top that you can uh, press to take an image besides the uh, actual two-stop shutter button up here and when you press the uh, right side it uh, opens up with the uh, different effects like it normally did but uh, now there's like a little uh, little bar here that actually shows you where uh, where those are. Going in camcorder mode, still 
pretty much the same layout. Another update is that uh, most programs can now be used in either the uh, standard portrait or a vertical uh, going in either direction, either to the uh, left or over to the right. Now even though uh, Adobe Flash Player 10.1 comes included in the uh, Android 2.2 update, there's actually a uh, update to the uh, Flash Player. Um, it's version 10.1.95.1. So we're going to uh, update that. So of course uh, one of the benefits is the uh, Flash Player. So uh, we've uh, got a uh, flash game playing here from a, a website so as you can see this little game here you can move uh, move blocks around and uh, go to uh, different levels so with the uh, flash enabled in uh, web pages you can also do other interactions like our uh, 360 rotational view on phones by rotating them around. Part of the update is um, the uh, VZ Navigator from uh, Verizon Wireless for uh, GPS guided driving directions. Uh, some people still like this program uh, but you can also still use the uh, Google Maps as well which um, in the uh, release notes for the update it does say that there have been uh, improvements for, uh, for Google Maps. So we got a uh, Google Maps loaded up here and the performance does seem a uh, lot better than uh, before zooming in and out uh, seems to be a lot quicker than uh, when using uh, Android 2.1 Also in the Android market, you can uh, easily update all your uh, apps by uh, clicking on Update All, but there's also uh, automatic updating, uh, which now will just automatically update the apps on their own whenever a uh, newer version comes out. So there you have it. That's uh, pretty much all the main uh, points of interest with the uh, Android 2.2 update for the uh, Motorola Droid X. There are some other enhancements such as uh, JavaScript in uh, web pages is uh, supposed to have a little bit better performance. Um, you can uh, easily edit uh, MMS messages after attaching uh, video files and uh, there's better uh, transition between uh, 3G and uh, uh, Wi-Fi connections as well as some uh, additions uh, to a visual voicemail. So overall it's a, a pretty nice update and uh, we're glad to see that it's uh, finally available for the uh, Droid X. So be sure to check out our website at phonearena.com.